another question for you. LinkedIn versus Sales Navigator. Which one do you prefer and why? Go ahead. It, so they're both great. LinkedIn, so Sales Navigator is not for everybody. Okay. And there's different premium products. There's, you know, if you're in the if you're a recruiter, there's LinkedIn Recruiter. If you're a job seeker, there's LinkedIn Career. There's LinkedIn Business. There's LinkedIn Sales Navigator. There's different premium products. And people often ask me, do I need premium? It depends. It depends on how you're going to use it. I think it's, a, they're all fantastic premium products. They're all fantastic. The question is, are you going to use it? And do you know why you're getting it? Sometimes I see people that upgrade it, have no idea why they're getting it. No idea what, you know, what the difference. And sometimes they're upgrading it for features that are for free. They think that this is, I need to upgrade to get this feature when actually they just didn't know how to use the free. So there's a lot of confusion about it, but they're great products. And LinkedIn Sales Navigator is great for someone who is a salesperson and that's what they do there. But it's also, it's important that they've built their foundation, that they've got their brand, they've got an amazing profile that's personal and company branded, and they've built proactively built out their network and built their community. Like you need to do that stuff first. Cause if you just get on LinkedIn, like a brand new user and just sign up for LinkedIn sales navigator, it's just not going to, it's going to be good. You need to do the basic things yeah. and then upgrade. Because the, most of the work comes in finding first connections. Yeah, exactly. So, That's where most of the power is your first level connection. Definitely. Okay. okay. All right. So tell me this. And I don't know, but I just find this to be unique. How did this TEDx change your life and or your business? It did change things because it gives me a lot of new credibility with speakers and with people that are going to hire me for speaking because people recognize TEDx as something prestigious and that you're chosen to do and they can go and look at it. So they get an idea of how I think about things. So it's really helped me in all of those, in all of those ways. I'm very grateful that I did. It was very hard. I have to say it was a very challenge. It was a big challenge, but I'm really grateful that I did it. Tell me, and this is not, I don't want to go in real heavy detail, but what advice would you give someone who's looking to become a TEDx speaker? Do you have any advice you'd share with them? Yeah, so there's a lot of places that have a TEDx opportunities. I would look at what is the theme of the TEDx because you want to match the theme. If they have, if you're, if you might, even though one's right down the street from you, if it's not the right theme, I would rather you travel a little bit yeah. and go to one that has a matching theme and really read the every one of them their applications are completely different some of them mm. you have to try out some of them you have to send videos some of them you have to write a whole thing so just you know you can have to spend the appropriate time the number one picking the right places to apply to and then really carefully making those applications okay. oh, and then the practice is huge you don't want to apply you want to make sure you can put aside a decent amount of time for the practice. And my coach told me when I was first getting into ways that for every minute that you're speaking, you need eight hours of practice. Probably. And so yeah. that was a little excessive, I thought, but then I started realizing, okay, the better I got, the more I did it, didn't need eight hours, but I still needed to practice every new speech I give. And yeah, I think a lot I mean, of people miss that. It's so much practice. I, cause you want to feel really good about it. So I am very grateful for my husband, Tom, who listened to me over and over and my friend, Mary, who also did a TEDx on the same day, which was fantastic because we practiced in front of each other. We even got to go on the stage ahead of time to practice on that yeah. stage a couple days before, which was great. Yep. And you got to be nervous buddies together, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's good. So now let's put that back into the LinkedIn. If I wanted to use LinkedIn to find TEDx talks, is that possible? Can you walk some people through that? Now, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about this, but the book, the TEDx talk is useful, but the book, you got to get the book, but we'll get to that. But so back to the subject. So I want to find a TEDx talk. Coach us through maybe the process you can use on LinkedIn. You wouldn't, if you want to find a TEDx talk, you probably want to go to YouTube. But if you want to find a TEDx speaker, you go to LinkedIn. And so you would put TEDx in the search do a search by people. I mean, you, so most people who are TEDx 
speakers have that in their profile very prominently. Sure, yeah. So it's yeah. very easy to put it in the search and you'll see a whole list of TEDx speakers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And then you can reach out to them and say, how'd you do it and so forth and so on. Yeah. Or can you be a guest on my podcast? You can do that too as well. Yeah. So, okay. So here's the question I think a lot of people have in mind and I have it as well. How are you helping people now? How are you making a difference right now? I try to make a difference with all my, obviously I make a difference with my clients and I have everything from small business customers to very large companies where they actually have a, my team on retainer. So we, we have all different kinds of arrangements. I, my book and my TEDx, those are my reaching points to just the world. And I'm so grateful I get people reaching me, in fact, usually through LinkedIn, from all different countries saying, I saw your TEDx talk and they're from every continent or they've read my book. And I'm just so grateful that people reach out to me on LinkedIn to tell me that they've read my book or that they've seen the TEDx talk. 